First, my heel got broken when I was walking down the road. And then I had to search for a shoe store. The next hour is vacant too, so there's no rush. <sighs> Ooh, good. This room is full, madam. Are you looking for something? Yes, for Miss Yasemin. What do you want? I think that we are going to have a long talk. Leave us alone, please. Why do you think she wrote that letter, Mustafa? Why did she make us a target? Please, sir, I'm begging you. Don't involve Hasser in this. I talked to her, she's not a problem. How can I know that? How can I know? That you won't say anything, how can I be sure? No, she won't, because she knows that I must answer to you. Correct. You answer to me. How you end up depends on my decision. Will you be in jail for the rest of your life? Or will you listen to me and be on my side? It all depends on you. I know. Listen to me. Hasser won't be a problem anymore. She's scared, and she just let herself get panicked. That's why she ran away, but it's fine now. Okay. Well now, we will see. You haven't done a thing that we have wanted up till now. But I did try my hardest. Meltem spoke in court in spite of you. You didn't make Batmagul give up. And I know Lamont couldn't talk, but... I didn't do anything. Just shut up. Shut up. Okay, that's all over. And now, it's time for you to show yourself, Mustafa. And now that the media is finally starting to back us up, I want to hear your voice as well. What you need. There is a reporter friend of mine waiting for you. He wants to hear Fat Magul's real story directly from you. He's waiting. He is looking forward to listening. He wants to hear the story from the best source, Fat Magul's ex. There's no time to think, Mustafa. You'll do whatever we tell you. I think the pressure must be low. I feel weird. Yeah, it's like the Southwest. Uh, wait, I'll get it, okay? I get nervous when you're acting like this. I'm only taking precautions, okay? Come on. We're hiding, but they are the ones who should hide. We're scared, but they're the ones who should be scared. No, we're not scared at all, Fatma Ghul. We just ran away from the noise. There was so much. But this place... It's like we can only hear ourselves here. Keep the fire burning. I got it. Do you know what we should do? What's that? Let's forget why we're staying here, okay? As if nothing had happened. No Yasserans inside of our heads. No Mrs. Mukadi's disturbing us. There's only you, me, the forest, and this house. Think of it as if we're on a small deserted island, all right? I mean, don't you think we need to get away from the real world right now? We don't have another choice anyway. You, me, here, the forest, and the trees. There's nothing else here anyway. 
A full refrigerator. Hey, are you hungry? Mm-hmm. You? Mm-hmm. I'll see what I can fix up. I was feeling like rice and tomatoes. Do we have tomatoes in here? We do. What happened? We have tomatoes. For the first time, it is our tomatoes. While I'm preparing dinner, you can cut some wood so we can have our fire. Can I make us our salads too? I make a great dressing. Okay. All right. <laughs>